I want to talk to you at least every day on the phone, not via text message, mm -hmm. and you're not doing it. You're right? not changing. Nothing. You're not changing. I don't want to wait till I get to the club and have 10 men, you know, mm -hmm. looking at me. I want the man that I'm dating to tell me I look nice. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Yeah, that, that's got to be Now, I'm probably heaven. not going to tell him the same. I'm going to just look at him and be like, that shirt too tight or them shoes on. Though. You're not going to be like, oh, damn, baby. I, you know, I like what you I'll probably like. say you smell good. Ben, I think we need to learn how to communicate to each other. You know, we can be defensive. We can just hear some something as negative and not really try to receive what's actually being said. Mm -hmm. okay, just no, let six, me stop. Seven, I'm just kidding. Uh, girl, shut up. Shut up, bitches, girl. <laughs> if you're serious. Oh, I'm not that serious. Leave, leave a comment if you're serious. How about that? Oh. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nia Olivia, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I'm so excited about this video because I have two of my friends here, Erica and Kyra. And y'all, it's 2024, and so we are talking all about being more intentional for this year. And when we're intentional, that means we're also intentional with our relationships. So we're going to talk about some of our non-negotiables moving forward this year. Um, and it could be dealings as far as dating, um, but also just in general, the relationships that we have with our friends, our family members, just anybody that we have to interact with in our lives. So we're going to get right into it. The first one that I was thinking about has to do with respect, right? Mm -hmm. um, just setting boundaries in terms of the type of people that you deal with, how people talk to you, mm -hmm. you know, communicate with you, just overall how they treat you like if you're dating somebody for instance and they're calling you out of your name mm -hmm. like i'm that for me is is it like you say one b-i-t-c-h and it's a wrap for me because i know if somebody calls me out of my name like it takes me to a whole different level mm -hmm. how do y'all feel about that well i'm usually the type of person that fights fire with fire so if you call me a b-i-t-c-h i'm gonna call your mama your child and everyone else something that I really don't want to you know do mm -hmm. so that yeah. is a it takes you out of your character to work on exactly it, it takes me out of my character mm -hmm. and so definitely I think it also has to do with even if somebody is like disrespecting you just not allowing them to take you to the next level this mm -hmm. year like I'm not gonna let you mess up my whole vibe and my whole piece mm -hmm. what do you think no I'm 100% agree I think um Disrespect is should not be tolerated. Um, you know, I, I agree with Kyra. Sometimes I, I'm not, you know, Michelle Obama. Obama. <laughs> they go low, I go high. No, I'm going low. Eric May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going low. So I just like to, you know, X myself, remove myself from situations. <laughs> um, okay, y'all. So the next one that we wanted to discuss are insecurities. Um, and when you are dealing with people, even this is in friendships, you know what I'm saying? Because you could have a friend that is extremely insecure and they have feelings towards you spending time with other people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like they might get jealous about that. Like Erica and I have known each other since high school. Right. But I met Kyra how many years ago? I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe like five years. How long y'all been not friends? Good with I mean, yeah, it's it could have known me longer. Yeah, we've known each other longer than five years. Okay, so long, so maybe five years or so. I'm not exactly sure. It may be longer, but the point that I'm trying to make is that Kyra sees Erica way more than I see Erica. But I don't feel insecure about it or like, oh, this is coming in the way of my relationship with Erica. And I think that. Friends need to understand that. Friends are going to have different groups of friends, different mm -hmm. people that they hang out with, and it shouldn't upset you or make you feel insecure about your relationship with them just because they have close connections with other people. Um, and when it comes to being in relationships and dating and stuff like that, insecurities can completely kill a relationship Absolutely. because then it's like, you feel weird when you go out places. You have somebody who's, you know, questioning you or were you looking at this person in their eyes or, mm -hmm. oh you know. Gosh. I can't be with a jealous man. Man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I don't have time for that because you should know that Especially at I'm right with you. Right. Yeah. We're too it's not like we're in high school. Mm -hmm. We're adults. Yeah. 
we're we're definitely adults and yeah if i notice that trait in someone like i think that insecurities can turn into a level of craziness i think a lot of times what i see mm -hmm. is people are insecure like a lot of times when men are constantly saying you're doing this you're doing that like mm -hmm. they're usually the one doing exactly yeah, that <laughs> exactly. is so exactly. true they, exactly. the they sense it more yeah. than they're anything else because they know they're, they're out here they're on you yes mm -hmm. guys you just have to kind of understand that, that because if you're dating someone that's attractive then, or just a woman, period. or just a woman, period. Yeah. Is, there's something about everybody that somebody, somebody else likes, would right. like. Of course, yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, so you can't even. People gonna do what they wanna do anyway. So another non-negotiable that we have discussed all of us before has to do with affection, mm -hmm. um, and especially in a relationship with someone, you want your level of affection and their level of affection to be close you don't mm -hmm. want to be someone who's like super what is that so, lovey dovey lovey dovey all dry yeah and then they're like all dry or like you always gotta initiate stuff you know with that person like i definitely have heard about people being in relationships where the woman is always kind of like the initiator and mm -hmm. it's like no i like i don't mind initiating something but i still like the man to be the leader and to you know you still like the man to be the man. Yeah, basically. yeah. I still yeah. want him to be the man. But I, mm -hmm. you know, I could take on that role at certain times, but I'm just not about to be doing that. Um, all the time. Sometimes, yeah. not all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I think it's important to learn love languages, right? Because mm -hmm. some people may not be affectionate. They may not like hugs. They may not, you know, like all the, the toe hands mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're with somebody that, likes that you know i think it's important to recognize that and to try to be that for that person yes yeah. it could go somewhere else mm -hmm. yeah they could definitely go somewhere else and <laughs> yes. yeah y'all gonna get to the point where y'all got you know tension in the relationship mm -hmm. um, animosity yeah. yeah animosity and it also goes into like we're adults you should be able to sit down and talk to someone if your needs aren't being met like mm -hmm. i'm not about to just sit up here and and you know if i'm unhappy and not say anything like i'm definitely going to tell someone but we also have to be receptive so if someone is telling you hey you know i like you to exactly. do a little bit more mm -hmm. of this or a little bit more of that instead of us you know taking the defense yeah you mm -hmm. know i think that's one of the ones we we're going to talk about next to communication right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah well we can jump right on into mm -hmm. it then mm -hmm. definitely so what were you saying i was just saying communication is is a key part and it's it's lacking in the black mm -hmm. community a little bit i think mm -hmm. we need to learn how to communicate to each other um you know we can be defensive we can just hear some something as negative and not really try to receive what's actually being said mm -hmm. um i mean a lot of people don't communicate how they feel no you know? they don't a lot of people just keep going you know going with keep, emotions mm -hmm. and the thing we all have to, you know, it's hard to realize is nobody reads anybody's mind. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and if you are brought up different than someone else, the way that oh, yeah. they communicated yeah. within their home life or their family it is totally to different. It, right. Yeah, it has to do with your upbringing. But even communication when it comes to how you communicate with your parents. You know, being able to actually like now, I'm getting to the point where I know, for instance, with my dad, it's like, I am being more verbal about telling him how I don't like the way that he communicates with me mm -hmm. or I feel like it can be improved. I'm not just going to let it slide and mm -hmm. I'm unhappy in the situation. Yeah. yeah. So I think also too realizing what, tr you know, what triggers you, what you can and, and can accept is mm -hmm. also something you have to understand because I know in situations like that, like with family or friends or something like that, I sometimes just try to remove myself, you know, mm -hmm. because I know okay. I'm probably not in the right place to communicate. Mm -hmm. And so, like, let me just 
Yeah, just go, okay. go to my room. Take a step back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is the other thing is like learning, like some people like to handle stuff head on. Like if you get into an argument or a disagreement, they want to get it taken care of right then. They don't want to let any time, you know, go. Mm -hmm. But other people need that break. Like, no, I need to go somewhere else. I need to be able to process mm -hmm. this information. And then I can really like sit down with you and be able to talk to you. The other part about communication, when it comes to the telephone versus texting, like, I know, especially in dating, there are so many grown men that I've interacted with that are still text messaging on a regular basis. So is your non-negotiable that you have to be able to talk on the phone yes. and not text all day? Yeah. I think most apologies, mm -hmm. <laughs> when you truly don't know a person, should be verbal. They should. You know, like, you can't always, you know, detect tone well, most yeah, times you can't, unless you really, really know that person. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to like accept an apology like through text when you don't know someone. Mm -hmm. So I, I think agree. that's a big part of it, like when you're getting, you know, to know someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I think talking on the phone is good. I don't know if I'll put it as a non-negotiable for me because like I don't want to. Some people just like to sit on the phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I enjoy being on the phone, oh my especially God. You're like a talker. I'm a, I, I am it's a there. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Mr. Shell. laughs> I'm definitely a talker, but I also feel like, for instance, if say I had to go out of town for something or we're in separate places for like a period of time, if we built up good communication skills as far as talking on the phone, then it makes it easier for us when we're not around each other. Yeah. Versus if we haven't, then it's like dead silence, yeah. you know, when the other person is somewhere. Pull up on me. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to pull up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention in regards to communication is when you're having an issue or a spat with someone or just something that someone said or did and you don't like the way it makes you feel mm -hmm. or whatever and you go to them and say, well, hey, you know, I don't like X, Y, and Z. And they automatically become combative and it turns into an argument. Mm -hmm. And I find that a lot with a lot of men. Like you can tell them, I don't like this and it's, oh, all of a sudden you're tripping. You know, yeah, you're tripping yeah, for no sense. reason. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, if I can't communicate with you, if I can't tell you how I feel, how can we have a healthy relationship? How can we if ever get better? Right. How can, if you turn everything into an argument, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I can't just tell you, hey, I don't like this, or I don't like, you know, what you did or what mm -hmm. you said without you turning it into an argument. It's almost like or I'm tripping. I'm automatically yeah. tripping, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I find that with a lot of men. You tell them something, it's like, oh, you tripping. Because you're expressing yourself. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of that, we want to hear from y'all. Um, what are your non-negotiables? Definitely get into the comment section. Let's discuss it. I think it's good for others to like share their perspectives because it just really helps us to all mm -hmm. learn, grow, you know, just understand people more. Um, so definitely make sure you comment. I think it could be levels to negotiation, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I think okay. disrespect, you know, can maybe be a little bit higher yeah. on a non-negotiable list than, mm -hmm. for example, uh, communication. Right. Because there's some things that you probably still early on in a, in a relationship mm -hmm. trying to figure out that type. So you mm -hmm. may not, it may not necessarily mm -hmm. be like, oh, well, you right didn't call me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, exactly. I would, I would probably prioritize that as yes it's important but you know what will be more important what would kind of go to the disrespect level for me is mm -hmm. if i'm telling you over and over mm -hmm. hey you know call me mm -hmm. like i want to talk to you at least every day on the phone and not via text message mm -hmm. and you're not doing it you're right? not changing <laughs> you're not changing or you know then that to me is like okay mm -hmm. i don't care yeah, yeah i'm gonna keep doing me yeah, and I think it also goes into the way in which we say things to people. Oh, like, yeah, 100%. if you're, you mentioned tone before. Like, if you are telling someone something or giving someone feedback on something that you want them to improve in, the best way is to come to them from a very calm, collected perspective in order for them to be able to process the information. Because I personally know I stop processing information when people are yelling. When mm -hmm. people have attitudes, I completely shut down. And I'm like, okay, no. Like, I can't deal with this right now so i think it's very important to just also keep that in mind yeah that's true some people even do that when they see people upset you know mm -hmm. it's hard for them to process like what internally is this person telling me because mm -hmm. you know you're in front of me i see you're hurt i see you crying like they don't really know how to how to process or respond to that mm -hmm. and that's why i say you know we we everybody needs to take a communication one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. like me too sign me up because mm -hmm. 
we could get be so much further if we kind of focus on effective ways to communicate, right? Yeah. Because nine mm-hmm. times out of ten, we don't actually intend to. It doesn't come across that way, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It comes across differently than what we intend, and like we just have to get on the same page. Yeah. It's also to keep that in mind that some people are super sensitive oh, yeah. and things you know hurt their feelings uh, more easily than someone else like you may just say girl you know that dress that's not the one you're supposed to have on and for yeah. one person that could hurt their feelings versus mm-hmm. i feel like i want my friends to tell me if i'm looking a mess because mm-hmm. i don't want to get out see <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to get out that's in these funny. streets and then yeah. other people are looking at me like dang why didn't one of her friends you ever seen somebody like that Absolutely. before you like why didn't somebody speak we up saw Oh yeah, we look, y'all. We're in Huntsville right now, and definitely H-Town. the style. Yeah, the style Hunts out here Vegas. is mm-hmm. is a little bit um is a little bit different. Hey, not too much, not too much. We still gotta live it. Okay, mm-hmm. sorry, sorry. Excuse me. So y'all have some beautiful homes out here. I will say that. That's um, it. That's the only thing you have to say. Y'all have some beautiful homes <laughs> out here, and some very nice people. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. You fit right in. Oh, well, thank you. you. Want over there? No. I'm not leaving Atlanta anytime soon. So I think another non-negotiable, and it's probably pretty high up there on a non-negotiable list for me. Yeah. Probably like with disrespect, Mm -hmm. is dependability. You know, I grew up in in a house where my dad was called him superhero. Like he was literally like Superman. Yes. And um, he did a lot for my mom. He did a lot for us. And just seeing that type of strong man growing up, like Mm -hmm. it's no way that I can be in a relationship with somebody that ain't, you know what I mean? That I can't depend on, exactly. yeah. right? And mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that you have to be a millionaire. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean that, you know, you have to be a mechanic, none of that, but it means that you're going to, you know. You're going to figure it out. Figure it out and exactly. have my back, right? Mm-hmm. There's somebody mm-hmm. that's going to answer the call. Yeah. Exactly. You know? If you say you're going to do something, then do, do it. it. Oh and if God, the time so frame important. changes, then you need to let that person know. Speaking of that, I'm sorry. Or if y'all. you can't do it, do it. Say you say can't, can't do it. And get somebody let me, to do it. Let me tell y'all about this most recent experience I had with this guy, right? So I was telling a guy that I wanted to go hiking. <laughs> and he was like, okay, cool. He was like, when do you want to go hiking? And I was like, I mean, I could go this weekend, you know? This is something that, like I said, I already was going to be doing for myself, but he inserted himself into it. So it's like, okay, let's go on Saturday. So we plan to go hiking. Excuse me. And I'm talking to him up until the day of. Mm -hmm. And so that morning when I text him like, hey, it's like nine something in the morning. I'm like, hey, are we still meeting at 1130 at such and such place? And he never responds, like doesn't even say anything until like two o'clock. Communication. Communication until two o'clock later Mm -hmm. on that day. And he sends me a text message saying that he had too much to drink the night before. And he's just crawling out of the bed. And he's so sorry. Woo, 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 woo. And it's an understandable story, but you could have told me that when you were on drink number five the (laughs) night before, instead of waiting until two o'clock the The next next day day after the time frame. And so that right there, I was just totally not attracted to him at all. And that was the first time we were ever even going to hang out. And clearly we're not going to ever hang out now because I just... But were you truly dependent on him? You weren't depending on him because you were going to do that for yourself. I was going to do it for myself, but what I'm saying is sure. anytime, if you say you're going to do something, yes. then do you it. Saying show up. Or, oh or cancel within a time frame uh, so mm-hmm. that I can at least know and it's not this, you know, that's Last me. Last minute. Yeah. Right. But you know what's crazy though? The people that attract people like that are the ones that you can depend on the most. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean? The yeah. most dependable people, people that, that like going to be there when you call, like first one to show up, first one to check on you, usually attract the ones that are not dependable at all. They say mm. opposites attract. Yeah. I, I, mean, I better not mm-hmm. ever. I don't want to meet any more, any more men like that. Mm-mm. Like, uh, yeah. We're going to. That, especially when you talk about getting married to someone and there's no way I would get married to a man that I feel And I just like feel I'm... like when I'm with a man, there's certain things that I want to call on him for. I don't want to always have to call my daddy, my brothers, oh, my guy friends. Man. I want to call my 
food. Because if your daddy was real, your daddy was going to tell you. How, that <laughs> the man yeah, in your life. Right. Okay. Exactly. Speaking of that, I got another story. <laughs> so I was talking to this guy, y'all, back in the day or whatever. And I was having issues with the vehicle I had at the time. And one day I was like on the side of the road or whatever. He lived in a different state. And so... He knew my car was having issues. This man had been sending me coupons to like AutoZone or whatever place that he frequented and like bought parts. And I'm just like, okay, but like if you see me going through this, the only thing you're going to do is send me coupons. And when I was telling him how stressed out I was because it was impeding my ability to get to work, he was like, Nia, you have your 10 fingers and your 10 toes. Like mm -hmm. never did he ever try to help me with any real solution. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that you meet that you're not even dating. You're not even talking. So you right, haven't even thing. been mm -hmm. affectionate with these people. And they're just there. They're like, oh, Remember, what happened? There are people that you meet that will automatically have a solution that will mm -hmm. say I know a shop or I take my car here or my cousin works on trucks or mm -hmm. if your motorcycle but do you needs... ask then that's no. not, that goes back to communication though because I think sometimes what we can do we go back to reading mine now you did throw this man a lot of hints yeah. it ain't no read like he should have helped a little more but he probably could have thought he was assisting with coupons uh, that's, mm -hmm. what I, that's what I'm saying but so I think what because some of them won't even do that they will I think what are say damn baby like that's you don't have roll side assistance <laughs> dang dang like what am I doing with a dang right. I'm, 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 all, I'm all the way in another state <laughs> Stay, right but listen I told my old man well not my old man hold up y'all oh. I told I told somebody else that another gentleman that I know that about the same situation that I was going through issues with my car and he immediately cashed me. Yeah. You know, I yeah. didn't even ask him for anything and the money was sent. It was like literally while I was on the phone with him, he went on ahead and just cashed at me. And I was like, golly, this man that I'm not even dealing, dealing with mm -hmm. is looking out for me and the person who I'm interacting with is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not adding up. If you're really intentional about a woman, then you're going to be a, someone who comes up with solutions. Just like if a man has a situation and I have a solution to that or I have a way that I can be beneficial and, like, help him, he may need me to, you know, help him process some... No, I ain't going to help no process right no the solution, baby. They be the problem. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's another topic. <laughs> yeah, that, that might... That's, that's, that's another that's, topic. That's another whole thing. And, brothers, we're not trying to down y'all. That's not the message that we're trying to... To sing, because it works both it ways. It works both ways. There are things that women need to improve on, and there are things that men need to be men need to improve on. But we're speaking from our perspective, mm -hmm. and we date men, so that's who you know. That's who we most likely are going to use as examples and everything like that. Exactly. I don't know. I think life is short. You know what I'm saying? Like very, very short. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to be. Oh, we don't have to say <laughs> no numbers. Mm -hmm. And facts. But I think as, you know, we continue to, to live and grow and just, you know, try to enhance our experiences mm -hmm. on this earth, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it is important that, you know, a big one that I feel like for non-negotiable is, bro, you can't be bringing me down. You, you can't. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that probably crosses, because bringing you down could have been be disrespectful, it could be not dependable. It could Emotional. Be, um, not Emotional be able to con me. communicate, like mm -hmm. all the ones we had lifted before. Mm -hmm. But if I'm if I'm stressed, like like real life, mm -hmm. like, I I can't. Yeah, you have I, to add exactly. value. Like, add you value. want someone to add value to, to my life. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I want to add value to your life as well. We mm -hmm. have to do that for each other. It can't be a one-sided thing. Add, you add, we, we definitely add value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While I'm oh. anticipating your needs and stuff like that, and it never happens the other way around. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't come into the house and you have some bath water, you know, run for me. Or you have, like, my favorite, you know, snack. Or just even small stuff. I think sometimes people think that the only way that they can really show appreciation or show someone that they care is just buying someone something large. No, it's literally like your actions. Mm -hmm. it, and it's it's small things that you can do along the way to really let someone know that you care and that you want to see that they're doing well. Ask me how my day was and What's actually listen to me. Too. Oh yeah. I am not a words of affirmation person. Me neither. What do you mean? I would just, but I like so what are you saying about the words of affirmation? I mean, I like 
So, for example, if we're getting ready to go out mm-hmm. and I'm leaving out the house, I don't want my boy to be like, oh, you look good. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. I don't want to wait till I get to the club and have 10 niggas, you know. Yeah. You know I mean? so and my- have 10 men, you know, mm-hmm. looking at me. I want the man that I'm dating to tell me I look nice. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Yeah, that, that's got to be Now, I'm probably heaven. not going to tell him the same. I'm going to just look at him and be like, that shirt too tight or them shoes on. You're not going to be like, oh, damn, baby. I, you know, I like what you I'll probably like. say you smell good. If he's looking fine, absolutely. Like I'm a, I'm gonna build you up because here's the thing: we should be each other's biggest cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. I should have to go out the house to get the hand claps from guys. Like I should already have that at home, mm-hmm. and vice versa. Like you should know, like yeah, baby, you mm, do that. Uh huh. Just mm, yeah. Man, you got a little <laughs> accent. <didn't you? laughs> I'm sorry. The Bronx. Girl, shut up. Come over here. Bring them Tims over here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. So yeah, just overall adding value so that we can live our best lives. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, we just in order to be able to progress together. And I want my home to be a place that I come to and I'm happy about. I don't want to be sitting out in my car thinking, Lord have mercy. I don't want to have to go house. inside mm-hmm. and deal with this person. And trust and believe there are a lot of people out wow. here in relationships like mm-hmm. that where they are living almost separately from people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just because their their lives and everything are just not aligned. So. So hopefully you were able to get some value out of this video remember we want to hear from y'all what are yes. some of your non-negotiables um, when it comes to relationships and again this could be family friends people dating. that you're dating mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just anything and it's just one of them, I think a lot right what you um, mean like we just kind of yeah the just surface. the surface yeah, yeah we did because literally each one of those points could have been broken down exactly. into a, a, whole, a whole lot more. It's 2024 and hopefully all of you are focusing on having positive relationships. Mm-hmm. More um, in 24. Yeah, more in 24. I love that. Um, Again, my name's Nia Olivia. I got my friend Kyra here. I have my friend Erica. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And also, you can check out another one of my videos right now. It's popping up on the screen. Check out that dating video. Be blessed.